your blood pressure is regulated, your blood glucose is regulated. So if we understand how it works, then we can un understand how it doesn't work. System identification is a mathematical field that allows you to estimate or measure things that you cannot measure otherwise. Give me what you can measure, I give you what you cannot measure. I think quantitative researchers and clinicians who are interested in patient monitoring could benefit from attending the mini symposium on clinical system identification. System identification is a very well established discipline in engineering which involves trying to figure out what's going on inside a system by looking at the relationships between inputs and outputs. By considering both the input and output and using that to determine the system properties, now we can isolate the system itself and get more specific and useful information. It is new to medicine, but it's not new to other fields of engineering. System identification is used for aircraft application and rocket launchers application. So why shouldn't we use it to the most precious thing that we own, which is our own body? System identification captures three different areas, which is control systems, modeling of real processes, and artificial intelligence. You have to start with a mathematical model of something, of the organ that you're trying to estimate. For instance, the blockage of an artery without having to stick something in to measure the blockage of the artery. For COVID patients, for instance, wouldn't it be nice to know how stiff the lungs are and how that can change from hour to hour or minute to minute. Then we can give better therapy, better ventilation, better flow and the pressure profile at the, at the right time. It allows us to learn about the patient physiology in ways that we're not normally able to from normally available clinical data. We're not introducing new equipment necessarily, we're just making use of already available bedside data. The ventilator by default uses sensors to capture pressure and flow, and we will use those variables to estimate the condition of the patient's lung. So this is not a guidelines-based or like population-based conclusions. This is individualized to this very patient right now at this moment. Clinical system identification writ large is really diagnosis. A symposium like this can be of real interest to clinicians who are interested not just in treating patients but in pushing the boundaries of their particular discipline to make it better, to come up with new ways of improving patient care. The best case outcome of all that is that they get involved in it with us and we form collaborations that take it to the next stage. For undergraduate students, I want them to see that math is useful <laughs> and the professors, I want them to know that these advanced engineering methods can find homes in industry. And to medical device engineers, I want to show them that hey, we don't have to just build sexy looking devices. They can also be smart using methods that we use to launch space shuttles, except this is for the human body. We know these methods work for other fields of engineering. Why not medicine? I hope people will walk away from the symposium knowing clinical system identification will save more patients' lives.